Hi friends. Now we have introduced a series called as Unplugged on YouTube where we discuss cases in an integrated fashion or we bring to you some interesting medical information which we feel is important for your exam perspective. Now today in today's discussion I will discuss a, a sign which is very very important from undergraduate as well as resident perspective on a chest x-ray and that sign is called a sillhout sign. But I will discuss a variant of Silhout sign or a, you know, a sub part of the Silhout sign today called as the cervicothoracic sign. Let's try to understand this on the basis of x-rays. Now let us try to look at an x-ray together and I have marked for you with the arrow a lesion. Okay, can you see that lesion in the chest x-ray? Yes. And I want you to look at the lateral outer border of the lesion. We can sharply define that outer border till the clavicle but above the clavicle it kind of get blurred you, you are not able to appreciate the upper border uh, the border above the clavicle now so th we have to know that the anterior mediastinum ends at the level of clavicle so any anterior mediastinal lesion would cannot be having a sharp border above the clavicle so when we see a lesion which is seen here but by, by the time we reach the clavicle the border has become blurred that means it is an anterior mediastinal lesion and there is a differential diagnosis of anterior mediastinal lesion which would include tumors like thymoma, lymphoma, teratomas, thyroid and now look at the exact opposite here. You can see a lesion here broad based onto the mediastinum. You can see a sharp outer border and can you see the well defined border above the clavicle. So you can see the lesion is extending above the clavicle. So the anterior mediastinum ends at the level of clavicle. If a lesion is extending above the clavicle, it has to be a posterior mediastinal lesion. In posterior mediastinal lesion, your differential diagnosis includes the neurogenic tumors and the paravertebral abscesses. And you can see for yourself that how sharply the border is defined above the clavicle. So this is called as the cervicothoracic sign. The basis of cervicothoracic sign is that the cranial aspect of anterior mediastinum ends at the clavicle. So there is no adjacent anterior lung above the clavicle to allow a sharp interface with the anterior mediastinal mass. So if you see a sharp interface above the clavicle, the lesion should be, the mass should be, posterior, uh, should be a posterior mediastinal lesion. So this is the reason I wanted you to see this is because it's very very commonly asked spotter in your MD exams or even in your UG exams sometimes in PG entrance exams they ask a question like this where you are supposed to localize looking at the uh, when a lesion is having a cervicothoracic extension you have to find out is it in the posterior mediastinum or is it in the anterior mediastinum. This is where I feel that this sign would help you in the localization part on the in the exam. If you enjoyed this video, do follow us on Damzeli channel on YouTube for more such interactive videos and on Facebook as well you can follow us with the same name. I wish you all the best.